University Challenge. Asking the questions, Jeremy Coxman. Hello. The starting ranks of this year's competition are thinning as we approach the halfway point of the first round. Tonight's teams are playing on behalf of institutions with numerous appearances under their belts, but no titles to show for them in the current era. If they're going to change that, a win tonight will be a good start, but failing that, losing with a high enough score may keep their hopes alive a little longer. Now, the University of Glasgow dates back to a papal bull of 1451, which permitted Bishop William Turnbull to add a university to the city's cathedral. In 2014, it became the first university in Europe to divest from fossil fuels, and in 2019, it signed a memorandum of understanding with the University of the West Indies, acknowledging past links with the slave trade and setting out a programme of reparation. Alumni include the writer and director Armando Iannucci, the poet Liz Lockhead, and the rower Catherine Granger, representing around 32,500 students with an average age of 26. Let's meet the Glasgow team. Hi, I'm Nabil Youssef. I'm from Crawley in West Sussex and I study physics. Hi, I'm Alice Nunziante. I'm from Marietta, Georgia, and I'm doing a master's in philosophy. This is their captain. Hi, I'm Harry Brennan from Bangor County Down, and I'm studying for a PhD in history. Hi, I'm Imogen Miller. I'm from Glasgow, and I study English literature and philosophy. Now, Queen's University in Belfast was founded in 1845 as a non-denominational alternative to Trinity College Dublin through a merger of colleges in Belfast, Cork and Galway. It's well known for nurturing writers and particularly poets with Seamus Heaney and Paul Muldoon among its alumni. Graduates in other fields include the politician David Trimble, the civil rights campaigner Bernadette Makaliski and the pioneering nephrologist Molly McGowan. Representing around 25,000 students and with an average age of 21, let's meet the team from Queen's. Hello, my name is Michael Sharry. I'm from Dublin and I'm studying for a PhD in politics. Hi, I'm Jack McInerney. I'm from Craigavon in County Armagh and I study mathematics. And their captain? Hi, I'm Courtney Campbell. I'm from Corian in County Derry, Londonderry and I'm studying politics. Hi, I'm Luke Duffy. I'm from Belfast and I'm studying business economics. You all know the rules. Let's just get on with it. Right, fingers on the buzzer. Here's your first starter for ten. Give the single word that completes this statement by William Morris. Have nothing in your houses that you do not know to be useful or believe to be... Glasgow Miller. Beautiful. Beautiful is correct. <laughs> you get three questions on women who were their country's first female head of government. Born in Kiev and raised in Milwaukee, which Israeli Prime Minister held office during the Yom Kippur War? Gold, you can... Gold at my ear? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, nominate Nunziante. Gold in my ear. Gold in my ear is correct. Which widow of a murdered senator took a leading role in the People Power Revolution in the Philippines? She succeeded Ferdinand Marcos as president in 1986. No, I'm not sure. No. No, no idea. No idea. Pass. That was Corazon Aquino. And finally, which Indian prime minister went to war with Pakistan in support of Bangladeshi independence? Yeah. Yeah. She ruled under state of emergency from 75 to 77. Yeah. 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 Indira Gandhi? Correct. Ten points for this. <laughs> Romit's first scene in the film A Close Shave, Tom Daly during competition downtime and female onlookers at the French Revolutionary Guillotine are all connected... Glasgow Miller. Netting? Netting, exactly. <laughs> Your bonuses are on an English castle. Which castle in southern England has been called the Castle of Queens, Queen of Castles, having been home to six queens? It is located on two lacustrine islands. Islands? Uh, two islands and seven... I don't know what that would be. I don't know. No, I mean, yes. Queens, Ham Ham Hampton Court, is it? Uh, yeah, Hampton Court. No, it's Leeds Castle in Kent. Henry VIII is thought to have stayed at Leeds Castle prior to crossing the Channel to meet which French king in 1520? Francois I. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, Francois I. Correct, at the Field of the Cloth of Gold. Incorporating the Great Hall, the medieval keep, is called the Gloriette in honour of which queen whose husband Edward I made Leeds Castle a royal palace in 1278? Husband of Edward I. It's not Eleanor of Aquitaine, no, is it? It's not. No, no, no. no. 
I don't it's know. It's not Isabel. It's not it's Joan, is it? I, I don't know. Joan? It's Eleanor of Castile. Ten That's points for this. In 2021, what name was formally recognised for the new National Independence Day, a US federal holiday to commemorate the end of slavery in America? Queen Sherry. Uh, Juneteenth. Juneteenth is correct, yes. <laughs> you get a set of bonuses on a fruit. In Greco-Roman myth, which goddess was carried off by Hades and forced to spend a third of her life with him Persephone. because she'd eaten pomegranate seeds while in the underworld? Um, nominee, Duffy. Uh, Persephone. Persephone is correct. Held by the Uffizi in Florence, the Madonna of the Pomegranate is a circular work painted in about 1487 by which Italian artist? Botticelli or something? Okay. Uh, Botticelli. Botticelli is correct. Pomegranates are the source of what deep red sugar syrup used in cocktails such as the Mary Pickford? Grenadine. Yeah, yeah. Grenadine. Grenadine is correct. <laughs> We're going to take a picture around now. For your picture starter, you will see an image of a bird. For ten points, please identify the country from whose flag it's taken. Glasgow Brennan. A uh, Papua New Guinea. That is correct. <laughs> see how it looks on the whole thing. You can see it. There you are. For your bonuses, three more birds taken from national flags. Name the country, not the bird, in each case. Firstly? Oh, I'm not sure about this one. Is that...? It's, no. I was thinking Zimbabwe, but... Mm. I mean, no, it's, it's an albatross. Is it, mm. uh, maybe it's Mauritius? Mauritius, maybe. Sure. Yeah. Mauritius? No, it's Kiribati. Mm. Let's see the whole thing. It's the frigate yeah. bird. Mm. Secondly? Oh, I don't know. Is that...? Without Belize? Do they not have a Belize? Bird? Dominica, I think, Dominica. has a, a bird in the middle. Yeah, I'm um, one of those two. Yeah. Dominica? Correct, it is Dominica. Here's how it looks on the flag. And finally. Oh, well, that's Uganda. It's, it's, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah, Uganda? That's the Grey Crown Crane. Well done. <laughs> right, I need the name of a transport route here. 2021 saw the opening of the fifth RHS National Garden at Worsley New Hall in Salford. The garden shares its name with which nearby canal built in the 18th... Queen's Campbell. Manchester Ship Canal. No, you lose five points. Glasgow Yusuf. Grand Union Canal. No, it was the Bridgewater Canal. Ten points for this. Born in 1928, the US screenwriter Larry Gelbart is perhaps best known for his work on which comedy drama series, first broadcast in 1972. It starred Loretta Swit, Wayne Rogers and Alan Alder and is set during the... Queen Sherry. MASH. MASH is correct. <laughs> you get a set of bonuses on films directed by Dee Reese. Which actor and singer received an Oscar nomination for her performance as Florence Jackson in Reese's 2017 film, Mudbound. She was also nominated for her original song, Mighty River. Pass. That was Mary J. Blige. Which 2011 film by Reese tells the story of a black teenager, Alike, as she comes to terms with her identity as a butch lesbian? Is it, um, Precious? Um, nominate, sorry. Uh, Precious? No, it's Pariah. Reese's 2020 film, The Last Thing He Wanted, is an adaptation of a novel of the same name by which US writer? Her other works include The Year of Magical Thinking. Tony Morrison? Tony Morrison? Tony Morrison? No, it's Joan Didion. Ten points for this. In 2021, Dame Jocelyn Bell Burnell, recognised for her work on Pulsar Discovery, received which prestigious award from the Royal Society? Thought to be the world's oldest scientific prize. Queen's Duffy. The Fields Medal. No, anyone want to? That's for maths. Come on. Glasgow Brennan. The Newton Award. That's the Copley Award. Copley Medal. Ten points for this. Known as the Pink Bottom Meadow or Field, Agaricus campestris is the binomial of a species of what edible organism? Often to be seen growing wild in pasture land. Glasgow Brennan. Mushroom. Mushroom is correct. <laughs> you get three questions on cognitive behavioural therapy for your bonuses. Often called the father of CBT, 
which psychologist gives his name to a three-part model of depressive thought known as his cognitive triad? Well, whatever's the best one of you two says. <laughs> Skinner? Yeah. Sure. Skinner? That's Aaron Beck. For what does the letter I stand in the form of CBT known by the abbreviation SIT used to treat PTSD? It aims to build patients' resistance to stresses and triggers through mild exposure and response training. Immersion? Immersion, yeah. Immersion, yeah. 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 Immersion? No, it's inoculation. In the late 1980s, Marsha Linehan developed DBT, adapting CBT methods for disorders including intense emotion and self-harming behaviour. The letter D stands for what word, meaning a process of reconciling opposing ideas? Dissociative. Dissociative? Yeah. I'm not sure. Could it be like... Dialectic. Oh, that would make sense. Yeah, yeah it could be. Yeah, yeah. dialectic. Right? Yeah, dialectic. Correct. Ten points for this. Born in 1910, Esme Kirby was a prominent campaigner for conservation in which national park? It's home to the highest peaks in Great Britain outside Scotland. Queen Sherry. That's Snowdonia. Snowdonia is correct, yes. These bonuses are on novels that have won the Booker Prize since 2002. In each case, name the work from its characters. Characters in which novel include Aunt Lydia, Agnes, a young woman living in Gilead, and Daisy, a young woman living in Canada? How made to tale? No, it wasn't. It was The Testaments. In which novel is the narrator known variously as middle sister, maybe girlfriend, or the girl who walks and reads? The menacing title figure is known only by his occupation. No, I don't know. Pass. That was Milkman. The first of a trilogy. Which novel's characters include Thomas Cramer, Thomas Cromwell and Thomas More? That's one of the, the Hilary Mantel ones, isn't it? So it would have to be, like, bring up the bodies or... Yeah, go yeah. for it. Um, bring up the bodies? It wasn't. It was Wolf Hall. Ten points for this. In the standard British spelling, what three letters begin words meaning in poetry, the division of a metrical foot between two words, in anatomy, the first part of the large intestine, and in the periodic table, an alkali metal used in atomic clocks? Glasgow Brennan. C-A-E. C-A-E is correct, is zero. <laughs> Season and season. So you get a set of bonuses on space exploration, who in June 1963 became the first woman to travel in space? Valentina Tereshkova. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Valentina Tereshkova. Correct. The group of US female pilots who in 1960 and 61 passed the same medical tests as male NASA astronauts have collectively become known as what? I need a project name and a number. I, I, I recognise this pattern. I don't know. I don't know this one. Could, could the project name be Apollo and then a different number? Yeah, like Apollo something else. Yeah. Apollo 9? No, it's Mercury 13. <gasps> Which of the Mercury 13 realised her long-held dream of going into space when, at the age of 82, she joined Jeff Bezos on a Blue Origin rocket? I can I remember seeing this in the <laughs> yeah, news? I saw this. Yeah. I can't remember anything. I can't remember no. anything either. Pass. It's Wally or Wallace Funk. <sighs> Ten points for this. If you're a music starter, you're going to hear a song from a musical. Ten points if you can name the musical. Oh, the Deadwood stages are rolling on over the plain. Glasgow Nunziente. Oklahoma? No, anyone want to buzz from... Queen Sherry. Calamity Jane. It is from Calamity Jane, which is one of several notable crossovers between the musical and Western genres. You're going to hear three more songs from Western musicals for your bonuses. First, name the musical, please. I talk to the trees, but they don't listen to me. Annie, get your gun. Could that be Oklahoma? Get your gun. Just hold your throat, maybe. Yeah. yeah. Um, Annie, get your gun. No, it's from Paint Your Wagon. Secondly, folks are dumb where I come from. The ink had any learning. Could that be Oklahoma? Still, they're I think happy. Like yes, I think it could be. Yeah. Anyway, um, Oklahoma. No, that is from Annie, get your gun. And finally, when I take you out tonight with me, honey, here's the I mean, way it's gonna, gonna be. be seven brides, seven brothers, no? hmm? seven brides. Oh, maybe. Yeah. Um, nominate Duffy. Seven brides for seven brothers. Oh, it's Oklahoma. <laughs> Ten points for this. 
In what year did the German mineralogist Friedrich Mose devise the scale of hardness that bears his name? The same year saw the completion of Beethoven's Seventh Symphony, the birth of Charles Dickens, the death of Spencer Percival, and the battles of Salamanca and Borodino. Uh, Queen Sherry. 1815. No. Glasgow Brennan. 1812. 1812 is correct, yes. <laughs> you get a set of bonuses on Belize. The national animal of Belize is the Baird's species of what large herbivore, known colloquially as the mountain cow? Um, a bear? No, it's a tapir. No. Belize's national bird is the keel-billed or rainbow-billed species of what bird distinguished by its prominent bill? Is it a toucan that its prominent bill? Could yeah. Be. Yeah. 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 No, a toucan. A toucan? Toucan is correct. The Coxcomb Basin Wildlife Sanctuary in Belize has the world's most concentrated population of what large carnivore? Jaguar. 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 Jaguar, is correct. <laughs> Ten points for this. What short word begins the common names of all of these? A long-eared North American hare, a large tropical fruit widely used in... Queen Cherry. Uh, Jack. Jack is correct, yes. <laughs> you get three bonuses on an empress. Sophie of anhalt zerbst is better known by what name after she was crowned as empress in Moscow in 1762? Catherine the Great. Yeah. Yeah. Catherine the Great. Catherine II or Catherine the Great is correct. In 1773, Emilian Pugachev led a Cossack force in a major uprising in which he pretended to be which former emperor, the deceased husband of Catherine? I need only his regnal name. Um, uh, he was Peter, he was one of the Peters. Sorry, I got Peter. Peter. Peter? Peter III is correct. Which peninsula did Catherine annex from the Ottoman Empire in the 1780s with the help of her advisor and lover, Grigory Potemkin? Peninsula Crimea? Crimea? I think Crimea yeah, was later than that. What? The was Crimea later. Later. what are the peninsulas? What are the peninsulas, are there? Is it Odessa? I'm not totally in the middle, not really. Try Crimea. Try Crimea. Crimea. Crimea is correct. Ten points for this. What short given name links all of the following? The silent film star known as the It Girl, David's mother in David Copperfield, and the German pianist and composer who edited the collected edition of her husband's works after his death in 1856. Uh, Queen's Campbell. Clara. Clara is correct, yes. <laughs> Your bonuses are on technical terms. In each case, the word in question has a sound or spelling similar to that of an item of clothing. Firstly, Denoting a unit vector, estimator, or growth rate, and also known as roof, what is the term for a circumflex symbol when used in mathematical notation? Um, I think it's just... I, th I don't know. Do you have anything? Bracket? Do you have anything? I don't know, I've no clothes, I'm sorry. Pass. It's a hat. What class of extragalactic objects Includes optically violently variable quasars and BL Lassite objects. It's like neutron stars. Neutron stars. Is it? Because they're, they're pretty extreme. Yeah. Okay, sure. Neutron, yeah. neutron, star. neutron star. It's a blazer. What term can mean a rod in tension in mechanical engineering or in music, a curved line joining two successive notes of the same pitch? Tie. Tie. Tie is correct, yes. <laughs> B frog. Lesser butterfly and early purple are among British species of what flowering plant? The family includes what is sometimes described as Britain's rarest flower, the lady's slipper. Queen Cherry. Thistle. No, anyone want to buzz from... Glasgow Brennan. Bluebells. No, it's the orchid. Ten points for this. The name of what blue cheese may be obtained by combining words meaning... Winged female monster of Greek myth with the surname of the author of novels such as Germinal and Therese Raquin. Queen's McInerney. Gorgonzola? Gorgonzola is correct, yes. <laughs> Here are your bonuses. They're on operas and literature. Philip Glass is the perfect American is based on a novel by Peter Junk, 
concerning the last days of which filmmaker who died in 1966? Is it the Japanese baby? Um, no, perfect Oh, perfect American, so it's probably going to be like someone from an immigrant background. Could it be Orson Welles? Orson Welles? No, Orson Welles died later. Um, do you have anything? Uh, Frank Capra. No, 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 Frank Capra. Frank Capra? No, it was Walt Disney. Completed in 1922, which opera by Alban Berg bears the name of a fictional soldier, also the title character of a play by the 19th century German author Georg Buchner? Fictional soldier? Um, Siegfried? 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 No, it's Wozzeck or Wozzeck. Gunnar's opera Romeo et Juliette features the trouser role of Stefano, Romeo's young page. He sings a taunting aria that precipitates the duel between which two characters? Um, Mercutio and... Benvolio? No. Can't remember who the other one is. Mercutio and Benvolio. Um, nominate Duffy. Uh, Mercutio and Benvolio. No, it's Mercutio and Tybalt. Ten points for this. In computing, for what specific nine-letter word does the letter T for tango stand in the internet communication protocols known as PPTP, L2TP and SSTP. Glasgow Yusuf. Transfer. No. Ah. Queen's Mike and Ernie. Telegraph. No, it's tunnelling. We're going to take a picture round now. For your picture starter, you will see a still from a film. Ten points if you can give me the film's title. Glasgow Nunziante. Don't be a menace in South Central while drinking your juice in the hood. No. <laughs> Queen Starfy. Boys in the Hood. No, it's Do the Right Thing. We'll come to the picture bonuses in a moment or two. Ten points for this. On view in the v &A in London, the Ardabil carpet is the oldest dated carpet in the world and was made in which country? The carpet taking its name... Ah. Queen Shari. Uh, Persian. <laughs> yeah, I'll accept that, yes, it's Iran. <laughs> Right, you failed to identify a still from Do the Right Thing, one of many collaborations between Spike Lee and the costume designer Ruth E. Carter. For your picture bonuses, three more films by other directors with costumes designed by Carter. Five for each you can name. Firstly... Oh, it's MLK, is it? Oh, is that that one about the Selma? Yeah, Selma, yeah. yeah. I think that's... Could be, yeah, 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 yeah. Nominate McInerney. Selma. Selma is correct. Secondly... Bring it on. Yeah. Yeah, go for it. Bring it on. No, that's love and basketball. And finally... It's Black Panther. Black Panther. Black Panther. Black Panther is correct. <laughs> Ten points for this. In a much anthologized poem, what form of transport does Wendy Cope compare with, quote, bloody men? It includes the lines, you're trying to read the destinations, you haven't much time to decide. Queen Sherry. The boss. Yes, it's bloody buses. <laughs> right, you get a set of bonuses there on the digestive process. What name derives from the Greek for to digest and is given to an enzyme in the digestive process that breaks down proteins into smaller amino acids? Proteas. Proteas, yeah. Proteas. No, it's peptidase. Which organ of the human body is primarily responsible for the production and release of protease, amylase and lipase? Not the gallbladder? Yeah, it, Gall it does enzymes, doesn't it? Um, yeah, yeah, I don't I know. Think, yeah. Gallbladder? That's the pancreas. During digestion, starch is broken down into what sugar consisting of two molecules of glucose bonded together? Fructose. 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 It's maltose. Ten points for this. In the titles of films by Fritz Lang, who is known as having a thousand eyes and as the gambler? He shares his surname with a South African professional dancer who won Strictly Come Dancing in 2019 and 2020. Uh, Queen's McInerney. Owner? No, anyone want to buzz from Glasgow? Uh, Glasgow Nunziante. Nelson? No, it's Dr Mabusa. Ten points for this. The universal symbol for recycling, symbolising continuity within a finite entity, is a variant of which one-sided mathematical object? Ah. Queen's McInerney. Mobius Strip. Mobius Strip is correct. <laughs> you get a set of bonuses on Chinese inventions. 
Name the dynasty under which the following are generally considered to have first developed. A single word answer is enough in each case. Which dynasty saw the invention of paper, the wheelbarrow, and the seismometer? Han. 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 Yeah. Han. The Han dynasty is correct. Secondly, gunpowder and the clockwork timepiece. Ming? Or... Yeah, 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 Ming is also pretty long, so... Ming? No, they were in the Tang dynasty. Finally, which dynasty saw the introduction of movable type printing, paper money, and rockets? Ching. Now, that was the Song Dynasty. Ten points for this. Born in New Jersey in 1926, who wrote the poem that begins, I saw the best minds of my generation? Queen Cherry. Allen Ginsberg. Allen Ginsberg is correct. <laughs> These bonuses are on physics. In the standard model of particle physics, what is the only fundamental gauge boson to have a symbol that is a Greek letter rather than a Roman one? It's a muon. It's muon. 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 No, it's photon. In addition to the W plus, W minus and Z naught particles, which other fundamental particle is represented by an uppercase letter followed by a superscript zero? I don't know, I would just guess, like, I, it's a complete guess. Yeah, let me try it. Lepton. That's the Higgs boson. What is the only lepton to have a symbol that is a Roman letter? Could it be a neutrino? <laughs> neutrino? No, it's an electron. Ten points for this. Herschel, Odysseus, Evander and Turgis are names given to what general type of feature on the moons of Saturn? Queen's Macanani. Creators? Creators is correct. Impact creators. <laughs> Your bonuses are on American critics and cultural commentators. Born in 1941, who introduced the term gynocriticism for criticism that centres on literature by female authors? Her works include a literature of their own. Bechdel? Is that the Bechdel test? Bechdel? I think Bechdel. Bechdel. No, that was Elaine Showalter. Mm -hmm. Born in 1956, which US academics' works include Gender Trouble and Bodies That Matter? <laughs> and that would go on Glasgow have 105. Queens Belfast have 165. Well, many congratulations to you, Queens. We should look forward to seeing you in round two. I doubt your 105 will be high enough to come back as one of the highest scoring losers. I hope you can join us next time for another first round match. But until then, it's goodbye from Queen's Belfast. Goodbye. Hey. It's goodbye from Glasgow University. Goodbye. goodbye. And it's goodbye from me. Goodbye. <laughs>